survive this five minutes? First exercise. Let's begin with a warm-up exercise. Stand with one foot forward and the other behind. Slightly bend your knees. Bring your arms in front of your chest and bend your elbows. Make a fist. This is your starting position. Now perform an uppercut movement, punching from down to up with one arm at a time. Engage your whole body. Imagine you're in a boxing match. This is a great warm-up movement that'll activate your arms, shoulders, core, and legs. Perform at a moderate pace, allowing your body to get ready for the rest of the exercises. 10 seconds Make left. Sure punch from your shoulders, not your elbow. Next exercise. For the second exercise, let's get on the ground. Place your leg on an elevated surface like a bench or a table. Place your hands on the floor. Your hips should be at a 90 degree angle with your legs parallel to the floor. Keep your arms at shoulder level. Now bend your elbows, pushing them away from your body and bring your head toward the floor, moving it slightly forward. Lower until you reach the floor or how much your strength allows. Push back up to return to the starting position. This exercise works your chest, shoulders, and upper back. It also activates your core muscles. It is a challenging exercise, so start slowly and over time, increase the range of motion. Rest. Next exercise. For the following exercise, stand shoulder width apart with your arms behind your head and elbows bent. Turn your feet slightly outward. Now lower to a deep squat going past the 90 degree angle at your knees. Keep your upper body straight. When you reach the end, point and stand up and repeat. This is a challenging exercise Halfway that there. targets your thighs and glutes. It also improves mobility in your hips and engages the core and upper back. Lower until you can hold a proper form. If you notice you are shifting, go forward until you can perform it correctly and progress over time, increasing the depth of the squat. Next exercise. Go back to the floor for the next exercise. Go to a push-up position with your knees on the floor. Your arms should be wider than shoulder width apart. Lift your palms off the ground, supporting your body with your fingertips. Spread them apart for better support. Now lower toward the floor, pushing the elbows up and behind your back. Keep your body straight. As you almost reach the floor with your chest, push up to return to the starting position. Repeat the movement. This exercise targets your chest and shoulders as well as improves strength in your fingers. You can lift your knees off the floor and do a standard push-up on your fingers if you're strong enough. Rest. For the last exercise, lie on your back with your arms at your side. Bend your knees and lift your feet off the floor. Now lift your pelvis, glutes and lower back off the floor and bring your knees towards your head. Your core muscles should do the work. You can slightly lift the head off the floor. This is a great lower ab exercise that will work the deep layers in your abdominals. When you lift your pelvis, exhale and then lower to the floor, inhale. Make sure to round your back and keep your knees flexed. You can lightly press your hands to the floor to help you lift the body up. Workout complete. 